Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Matibay Babies. Welcome to Matibay Class. Ay, may nagbabalik. Po, may nagbabalik. <laughs> may nagbabalik. Namiss natin to. Sanay na sanay na ang mga taga-ordaneta, ma'am, yes. ng collaboration natin. Pero syempre magpapakilala tayo sa mga mahal nating taga-dagupan. Yes. Oo, so, so again, tayong dalawa, kami ni Sir Jason ay palaging magka-collaborate. Tama? Magka-collaborate, mag-partner when it comes to mathematics subject. Oo, nagbabalik yeah. ang kakulitan ng matibay teachers. At kaingayan. At kaingayan. Pero masaya. Masaya. At uh, nagtuto sila. Yes. And for this, ma'am, our Masa topic... Masa pa ba tayong nawala? Tignan mo na module na tayo. <laughs> <laughs> module 9 na. Ibig sabihin nawala sa YouTube natin ang module 1 to 8. Module 2 to 8. 2 to 8. So, mm -hmm. dito natin na So, applying the rules in finding Ito derivatives. Ito favorite natin to. Yeah, sabi nga natin sa mga um, student natin sa Yupang, na isa sa mga paborito natin favorite sa... Favorite na favorite namin yan dahil marami tayong techniques na ginagawa. Yes. Okay. So, na hindi pinakita ng inyong module. Oh, so, ipapamana okay. natin sa kanila yes, yan. Yes. Applying the rules in finding derivatives. But of course, alamin mo na na... Wow! Ang ganda okay. ng presentation. Alam mo naman pagka kung gumawa. <laughs> Alamin muna natin kung ano ang ating objective. Our objective is to identify and apply the different rules in finding the derivatives of algebraic functions. Yung mga madali na pindot. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Ayan. So, the derivative of a function y is equal to f of x of a variable x. Take note. Ayan. Nakalagay dyan. Y is also equal to F of X. Uh -oh. So, ibig sabihin nun, mga anak, pag nakakita ka ng Y at nakakita ka ng F of X, wala pong pinagkaiba yan. Parehas ibig lang po sila. Ibig sabihin nun, pareho lang po yes. sila. Okay? okay so, A. A is a measure of the rate at which the value Y of the function changes with respect to the change of the variable X. So, tama yung isang isigyan yes, din natin. Yes, yung isigyan din kanina natin. And of course, letter B, it is called the derivative of F or function with respect to X. Tama naman yun. Yes, and C is the difference, differentiation <laughs> is the action of computing a derivative. So, later on, para mas maintindihan nila yung A, B, and C, magpapakita tayo ng 406 na example. 305 lang. <laughs> <laughs> Babawi, no? 305 lang. Okay, Ayan. yan na tayo. Ano nga ba yung rules for differentiation? For this apat. particular topic, ma'am, mag introduce tayo ng apat. Yes. Okay? So, first is the constant function rule. Y is equal to f of... Basahin ko to? Sige muna. <laughs> first is the constant rule. Second is identity function rule. Third is the power rule. And of course, the fourth one is the constant multiple rule. Yeah. Pero hindi yan natatapos ang rules natin, ma'am. Kasi meron pa tayong quotient rule, meron pa tayong product rule, at mga rules pang iba. Okay, <laughs> Unahin natin yung constant function rule. Sabi niya dyan, if y or f of x is equal to c, where c is constant, then y prime or derivative of y is equal to Zero. So, ulitin natin yung kapatid ah. Y prime or pwede rin siyang sabihin derivative of, of function or y is equal to zero. Ano ibig sabihin niyan ma'am? Kapag constant daw or numbers lang, wala kang ibang nakitang variables, etc. Automatic, ang derivative ng iyong constant is equal to zero. Oh, maski 1 million wala pa yan. Iba. Yes. Maski negative 1 million pa yan. Yes. Okay, zero pa rin ang sagot. Basta constant lang ah. Constant lang. Now, this one, identity function rule. If y, or pwede rin namang nating sabihin, if f of x is equal to x, variable lang na x, where x is a differentiable function, then y prime, or derivative of y, is always equal to 1. one. If and only if, ang given lang po ay x or any variable, ang answer po niya ay equal to yes. 1. Okay. Third is the power rule. If f or sorry if y or f of x is equal to x raised to n ibig sabihin yan yung power or yung exponent niya yes. where x is the differentiable function and n is a real number then y or the derivative of y is equal to n x raised to n minus 1 Ito na yung sinasabi natin kapatid na na ano daw dito yan yung pag-aralan natin, natin times base 
okay? Then the exponent, magsusubtract ka ng 1. Yun ang pinag-aralan natin, yes. okay? And of course, the constant multiple rule, yung constant multiple rule, mga anak, pinagsama lang natin si constant and identity. Ibig sabihin dito, mga anak, meron tayong makikitang constant at meron tayong makikitang variable. Where u of x is differentiable function, then y prime or function of x or derivative of y is equal to constant times um, derivative of function x. Okay, at para mas maitindihan natin ang bonggang bongga, yung apat na rules na yan, let's proceed on our examples. Ayan, <laughs> nagulat ka. Unahin natin yung constant function rule. Sabi natin, sa constant function rule, any given constant, kapag kukunin natin ang derivative, syempre, that is always equal to <laughs> zero. zero. Maka 1 million, maka negative, maka positive. So, ibig sabihin, nonsense. Ang, ang, letter, <laughs> ang letter A, nonsense. Ang letter A, sense. Since function, of x is equal to negative 63 at alam natin na negative 63 is a constant, okay, walang kasama, meaning to say that is equal to 0. Again, derivative is equal to 0. Okay? Take note also, ma'am, ipapakilala ko na. Yung derivative, pwede natin siyang sabihin ganyan. Yes. Pwede rin natin sabihin y prime. Yes. At pwede rin naman natin sabihin dx all dx over, all over dy. So, lahat yeah. ng yan ay nagre-represent ng derivative. derivative. Yes. Okay? Baka pag nakita kayo ng ganito, ba iba naman, sa naman yung sinabi ni Muna <laughs> at mamulina. Uh, so, pare-pare lang yan mga anak. Next, f of x is equal to 11. Is 11 is a, pong, is a constant. Yeah. Okay? Positive na constant. Positive na constant. Ibig sabihin, y equal prime is equal to zero. zero. Iba ginamit ko doon, iba yung ginamit ko dito. Yeah. And that is all about letter, letter A. A. Ang hirap. And so, for letter B, identity function rule, mas may sense to kaysa kay letter A. <laughs> Ayan, ang sabi kanina sa explanation, any constant, eh, sorry, any, any variable, variable, kapag x daw yan, automatic, ang kanyang derivative is equal to 1. Eh, Bakit siya naging 1? one? Yes. Eh, Bakit siya naging 1? Because dito po, yan, dyan po sa ating um, variable, meron siyang imaginary uh, anong tawag dyan? Constant. Numerical coefficient. Ayan. Imaginary numerical yeah. coefficient na. na 1. So, kapag kinuha, and meron din siyang imaginary exponent na 1. 1. And ang sabi natin, kasi, ang rule natin, exponent times base daw is equal yes. to 1. 1. So, 1 times 1 is equal to 1. At ang sabi sa rule na derivative, kailangan mo daw mag-subtract ng 1, one sa, exponent. sa exponent. So, kapag nag-subtract ka niyan, for example, magiging X 1 0. minus 1 is equal to 0. At ang rule natin, sabi, any variable na merong exponent na 0, it is always equal to... Any variable or any constant. Yes. It is equal to... 1. 1 always. Therefore, ang final answer natin one is... 1 times 1 mo muna. 1. Man. Ayan. 1 times 1 mo muna. Kasi ang X raised to 0 natin is 1. Yes. Therefore, 1 times 1 is equal to 1. one. O, ba Ang haba ng explanation, one din one lang, lang sagot. <laughs> Eto naman. Nakala natin alam na nila kung paano, paano kung nakuha. What if we are given negative x? So, ibig sabihin, meron ka dyan imaginary negative numerical one. coefficient na negative 1. x, sabi natin, meron siyang exponent na 1 minus 1. So, we have negative 1 x raised to 0. But x raised to 0 is? 1. 1. So, negative 1 times 1, it is equal to negative 1. one. So, I hope clear tayo doon. Okay, kasi basic yung dalawang yan, ma'am, yung A and B, pero dyan papasok lahat. Kailangan malaman muna natin yung A and B para kaya nating sagutan yung C and B. And D, okay. Galing-galing mo doon. Okay. Ayan na. Sabi natin, okay, hindi natin magagawa si C at D kapag hindi tayo expert kay A and B. Yeah. Kasi since expert na tayo kay A, A and B, it follows, magalawa natin si C. Okay? So, power rule. Ibig sabihin ng power rule, kaya-explicate natin na merong exponent ang given function. So, for example, number one, we have f of x is equal to x raised to the fifth power. Take note that we have an imaginary numerical coefficient of one. Okay? Based on the rule, kailangan natin i-multiply ang exponent times base. Five times one is equal to what? Five. Five. Then, sabi rin, 
kailangan nating mag minus 1 sa ating exponent. Yes. 5 minus 1 is 4. 4. This is now our first final derivative. Answer. Okay? Or final answer. Okay? 5x raised to the fourth power. Sabi sa next topic kasi ma'am, what if ang kukunin mo is second derivative? Higher order nga. Oh, higher order. Pero hindi nga pinakita sa kanilang module. module. Ipakita na lang natin. Yes. What if second derivative? This is our first derivative. Yung first derivative mo, i-derive mo ulit. Derivative, okay. Since yan ang first derivative, i-derive lang natin ulit para makakuha tayo ng second, second. derivative. Okay? 4 times 5 ang tintin? 20. 20. X raised to the power of 3, 3. kasi magma minus 1 ka. This is now second. our second derivative. Again mga anak, pinakita lang namin sa inyo kung paano kumuha ng higher order derivative. Kasi hindi naman pinakita sa inyong yes. module. Okay, next kunin example. Mo na, kunin mo na sir hanggang pangatlo. O, pangatlo. Third derivative. Multiply 3 times 20. 60. 60. X, X raised to the power squared. of squared. Yun. So, ganun okay. lang. Ulit-ulit lang. Ulit, 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 this is the third derivative. derivative. But mostly ma'am, mostly sa exam, Ang, ang kukunin lang naman na, na natin is the first derivative. derivative okay. yes. Pinakakita lang natin kung ano yung objective na kailangan nilang malaman. Mm -hmm. Okay, number 2 is f of x is equal to x raised to the power of negative 3. Okay? Since negative 3 yan, ipapakita muna natin yung basic rule. Meron tayong imaginary denominator of what denominator? Hmm. Numerical, Numerical coefficient of 1, negative 3 times 1 is equal to negative, negative 3. 3. X raised to the power of negative 3 minus 1. Negative 4. Negative 4. Okay? This is not yet the simplified answer, but this is now the derivative. derivative. Kung derivative lang ang kukunin mga anak ko, this is already the final answer. But if ang sinabi, simplify your answer, since negative pong exponent natin, ibababa ba ba natin. Okay? So, this is now equal to 1 all over negative 3 x raised to the power of 4. 4. Naging From positive negative na exponent, it will become ne positive dahil binaba mo na siya. I will repeat kapatid ha. Kung ang tinatanong lang mga anak ko is the derivative, okay na ito. Pero kapag ang simplify. question is simplify your final answer, ito po ang simplified form yeah. na. Any question, Montin? None. It's super clear. Okay. Ayan, so for letter D, pagsasamasamahin natin yung natutunan natin kay ABC. Wow, okay, so first thing. example, we have f of x is equal to 5x cubed. Yung ginawang process ni sir kanina, yung 3 mo multiply mo kay 5, so 3 times 5 is 15. 15. X, ang sabi niya, mag-subtract ka daw ng 1 sa exponent, so 3 minus 1 is? 2. 2. Therefore, your derivative is equal to 15x squared. Madali mahirap. <laughs> Second example, negative ang base, pero negative din na. Ah, take note ah. Madali mong pre-present. Uh -oh. Pero pagdating sa TG nila, ang dami pang Oo, oh, oh, kasi process. maraming ginamit ng DYDX ganoon. Uh -oh. Eh sa atin yung shortcut. Oh, so dito na. Okay. Saan ka pa? Dito na. <laughs> Subscribe na. <laughs> f of x is equal to negative 3x raised to negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 3x, negative positive. times negative, we have positive 6. I-copy mo yung x, negative 2 minus 1. Negative 2. Pareho ng sign, copyin mo and then add. This will be our final Kung answer. derivative lang. Yes, kung derivative lang. Pero kung ang sinatanong niya isang simplified form, kagaya ng ginawa ni Sir Jason kanina, ibababa mo, iba mo lang yan. So, we have 1 all over 6x cubed. Again, this is the derivative. And this is... Simplified form the simplified form of your derivative. Ma'am, din din may question ako kung ako yung estudyante. Mm. Bakit pati si x binaba mo? Ba't pati si x? Ay, ba't pati si 6 binaba mo? Kasi iisa lang yan. Okay, kasi magkasama, magkasama sila. sila. Hindi sila magkahiwalay. Kaya Pero kung mayroong plus or minus dyan na pagitan, ma'am, si x yes. lang ibababa mo. Yes. Okay, are we clear? Yes. Okay, and that is our topic for... For module 9. Let's proceed with... Module... Module, Bisaya Manday. <laughs> Module 10. 10. Okay. okay, thank you mga anak for listening and thank you for watching our video discussion. Lagi niyong tatandaan na magiging mahirap ang laban. Pero magiging kakayanin mahirap natin. Pero lahat yan na kaya kakayanin natin. <laughs> Dahil tayo ay hashtag matibay. matibay. Goodbye mga anak.